Welcome back to Bad Date Night. Let's play Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm Espresso Steampunk. And I'm Soul Hiatus. And we're still on the Nexus, kind of knocking out side quests while getting our bearings. So yeah, we still have to figure out who this saboteur is. And, um... Have you ever said a word so many times it doesn't make sense anymore? Saboteur will mess with you real hard. Saboteur. 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 What about an abattoir? Now you're just being silly. <laughs> Can you look at my shoes one more time, sir? <laughs> Thanks, yep. Yeah, I stepped in something. <laughs> and it's Bantha Poodoo. Can Thank you. Can you see my contacts? <laughs> we have a real ant problem here. Do you want ants? So, it's kind of important to note that at this point we can take the tram to different places. It's nothing in the cryo bay yet, unless we want to like talk to Dr. Daddy or do something ridiculous like check on our brother. Why would you do that? He's in the best hands possible. There's no earthly way of knowing <laughs> He's singing which direction we are going. There's a famous story, I don't know if it's true, but when they first had like when they were first projecting motion pictures in theaters there was um, a film and basically a train comes at the camera or appears to and people supposedly ran or jumped out of their seats or whatever because they'd never seen an image coming at them like in a safe environment before. Don't know how true it is but figured that was the only time I'd get to share it. <laughs> I've also heard that and I've seen the footage and I imagine if you're... Yeah, this was probably in what, 1918, 1920? Oh, look at her, still doing parkour. Um, yeah. Parkour! 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 I think it was around there. Um, the uh, trip to the moon, the Milliers brothers, I think that came out in like maybe oh, two, so maybe, yes. it was, maybe it was late, late, late 1890s. I, I, it's been a long time since I took a film class. I know. Well, and then you had Phantom of the Opera, The Silent, with Lon Chaney Sr. Mm. Um, that came out, I want to say, around 28, but I could be off by a couple of years. I'm just kind of running around checking on things. Seeing if any other prompts have come up. Nothing yet, so we'll just continue the sabotage hunt. It's sabotage! You can pause if you want to read these. It's... Whatever. Oh, there's more. Exiled. Damage control. Lots of damage control. Okay, can we please... This file is useless. Let's check another. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems There's unlikely. another crispy Let's check song. another. No, thank you. <laughs> this file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Somebody works so the, the purple maybe. and green reminds There's me I was going to mention scenario. it when we were first talking to Kandros. Think can get enough out of the files to find a match using but I was saying that Sam. pink and the green are like scrambled. chromatic like opposites. Um, if you want to have a fun experience, get yourself some available. construction yeah, paper that's either bright pink or bright green. Hold it in front of your eyes so it's all you can see for about maybe 30 seconds. And when you pull it away, your vision will have flipped and everything will look pink if you were staring at a green piece of paper, or green if you were staring at a pink piece of paper. Ooh, you're fun at parties. <laughs> yeah, that's what, what I discovered when I was like 10. thought it was pretty sweet. You must have had a very interesting childhood. A very boring childhood. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> Let's not say boring. Let's say uh, safe. Safe, healthy, loving, mind, and supportive. <laughs> Plans for a school are underway to inspire a new generation. And my mom was a puppeteer, so there was like no the shortage of construction paper. For them. <laughs> <laughs> or puppets. Oh, my Take goodness. that however you want. <laughs> Add more scans to improve it. And yeah, nothing quite compares to arriving from college, day. like at midnight for winter vacation, and coming into a dark house, and there's just like a silhouette limp slumped over in the chair, and like ah. No, it's a puppet. Nightmare oh, oh. fuel. Why did mom leave a puppet in a chair? Mom, you promised me you would warn me first. <laughs> With scan soldiers. 
until we find our saboteur. This person is not a match. Bart Cummings. That's an unfortunate name. Apologize, apologies to any Bart Cummingses <laughs> that may be watching this. It's not personal. But it was not Bart. How are my shoes? Oh, oh, ah. Aha! Just like we practiced. <laughs> The classic outer space game. Corner the Asari. <laughs> Inaccurate match. I know a few politicians that have probably played that. Oh no. <laughs> and we're back. All personnel, be aware of any suspicion. Something I can help you with? I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes Ultimate first. response, you're sending me I to Eos anyway, right? No objections. You're not this my dad. Will only bolster the case. And I wish you were, because you'd be dead. Oh, wow, that I was... regretted it as soon as I said it. Oh, wow. I'm hoping it proves something else happened. This case has Sorry, been it's a political kind of finals nightmare. week for him, but I'm under a lot of stress. Do we need to pause stability. this and talk about our feelings? I what I need is a hot romance scene, but that's but probably ten light, episodes out or more. Oh, we'll bro, you got 40 more hours we'll before you see boobies. Mm, I mean, we might get lucky with one of our one nights, but anyway. Oh. Any I know there's a side quest about missing arcs. arcs. I don't know if they just handed it no. to me or if I have to ask. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. I am if they had the same problems with the scourge that we did, I fear something the worst. Something, Should something, you find information, Tarian, Batarian, and without the other no, Asar, arcs, the promise Asari of the initiative can never well, be fulfilled. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know way more of that than I was expecting. Well, expect? well done, sir. We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing We're getting along there, people. Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. I wonder if 2185, if people are going to be sending out memes on Facebook, That's like all. the Back to the Thanks Future, like, oh today. Oh my god, yeah. Here to serve. Except it's, it's going to... Marty McFly. But it's going to be a different day for each meme, or whatever. <laughs> All right, so there's one person left to scan. Um, Scanner. This isn't it, of course. I'm still. This is where, as TJ Laser would say, the frog lady is. Oh wait, what's that? Yes, I know the Hyperion docking Can unannounced caused some switches scan. to blow, so that's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread. I'll just scan everything instead of interrupting her conversation. I keep wanting to make quotes from the movie Scanners. That's all. And then I realized that that movie was, you know, in the 80s. And therefore... My crew's working on it. We've moved what? the op center to the top of our priority oh. list. That's an entire sector showing green. Good Are you job, talking about two. tits? Or my shoes? I'll check it out my... There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more I work I think we've mentioned Scanners, obviously. I haven't seen it. Well, yeah, I mean, it was a David Cronenberg movie from 1981. Kind of I, was <laughs> I was a brand new soul hiatus in 81, so obviously... <laughs> I, keep the I didn't see it until much later, but it's creepy, as, as you would think, in a science fiction horror film written by uh, David Cronenberg. Yeah. I was uh, still, still doing sit-ups in my around. dad's balls. <laughs> spoken to number eight wow, now, classy. Number eight. Ten. Ask him why most. Just want the viewers to know I I work hard. I can tell you this even much. when I'm not alive. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. <laughs> you when you're not alive, is that a? Supposed to settle matters is that something that happens return, to you frequently? Get more say in the initiative. <laughs> ah, number eight. Why do you call ten eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda Initiative. I like to remind him of that now. Oh, and she's then. cold. I like her. Keep him. Humble. I mean, it's Tan we're talking about. 
I mean, I'm, I get yeah, it. Which, I, I, let me be clear, I'm neutral. It's Addison I don't like. I mean, I'm trying to avoid talking to her, but we should probably get that over with. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, it would make me feel better if every time you walked by, you guys made eye contact and she followed you. It was a mess, <laughs> but I don't blame my people for walking Give her that Luigi stare from Mario Kart. You got it. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. Why you gotta the go and make things so complicated? Both need me here. Why? Nothing more for now. Good luck out there. Sisterhood prevails. At least we have one ally on this boat. Mm-hmm. There is our homeboy. Not in here. Oh, Liam. <laughs> Actually meant the uh, saboteur. Oh, wrong one. But let's get this over with. You walked by her like twice first. No, oh, I should have. Right. <laughs> sorry. To oh, sorry. To whom? And your goddamn Don't father. Be a grammar Nazi. Sorry, my face is tired. Yeah, your face has a lot going on. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Why don't you care about my face? In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role, eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. Can we push Not her out an airlock? I know, I will the biotic row her against that window until it cracks. Mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me. Uh, yeah, I guess whose fault breath. that is. I was gonna say, isn't she the colonial director with no colonies? Let's ask her about these failed outposts, huh? You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is yeah. that? Yeah. Less than you'd think. The scourge. Cool, spoiled so you're world, the best exiled, loser. Congrats, styles. Addison. We can't just nice down glitch. An and expect I'm tired fences. faced. We need the and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And neither has her face. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even but me. definitely not you. I think she's... I think we're growing on her. I think she likes us. Ugh, let's quit while we're ahead. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If get we don't face. get a foundation of outposts to feed With the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. And so far, you. she's the only one Prove me wrong. talking shit. Yeah, even even a... Tan is like, hey, things aren't great, but I think we can fix it. <laughs> even though it would take just one match. <laughs> I love your impressions. <laughs> when I first uh, started teaching yoga, um, I was I would just I had unlimited Pandora, and I would just drive around listening to comedy stations. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna part the kimono here and just figure out where where I'm supposed to meet this guy. Oh, come on. Okay, so I guess I need to take the tram back, and that's why I'm having a hard time finding this this cat. Galaga. Anything new to say? No, nope, you're just playing Galaga on your Omni tool. Well, it's like Angry Birds or Candy Crush. <laughs> There's no knowing where we're rowing or which way the river's flowing. So yeah, I wish they made the trams a bit more visually interesting because we've been on and off them like quite a bit like instead of easier her name should just be tram rider do they validate parking hey man thanks for all those times you looked at my shoes unfortunately this person is okay. not a match you're lucky can you give me one more quick look see Thank down you. here check the heel i think i might have some toilet paper on nope okay good Okay, 
I know our guy's around here somewhere. Hey, you, you look suspicious. Boo! Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. You also have a hard time responding to stressful situations. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people. Killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever Boy, you want. we're getting a whole bunch of mixed signals here. Different stories and whatnot. We play it nice like usual, or...? Hmm, well, I mean, we're trying to earn our place here. It's not really up to us. I would turn them over and let them deal with it to show our loyalties. Not my call. Butt, you know? The Nexus <laughs> leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision? That'll be the day. Okay, our work here is done. <laughs> well, we got 73 viability points. Something which was alluded to, but never... Like codified. Okay. Like the female G spot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to turn this into a touch sensitive episode, but. Hey, how's my ass look? No. Pretty good. Not exactly mirror's edge quality, but gets the job done. Oop. Almost went to cryo bay. Should we go to cry? Check up on. Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is a hurricane a blowing? <laughs> Not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing. We're basically done here. Like, everything else has to be completed on the planet. So, um... No. I'll make it right, Dash. Pathfinder? So after a quick check-in, I think we'll get our ship and uh, talk to the crew, and that's probably gonna be Nigel? this episode as well. Thank you. Any combat if starts... My little brother Dash was next time. The Nexus. Maybe. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. Er... That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were gonna start families out here together. I have a pendant to our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Well, that's a huge bummer. I... Wish I picked a different option, maybe. Mike's feeling a little better. Oh, Fisher. Nice. Looks like the muscle's bruised. Fisher, glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? The captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the Ket. And Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. I'm sure there are decent aliens here in Andromeda, too. We just have to find them. Well, I heard you're Pathfinder now. The sooner you figure out where they're hiding, the better. Will yeah, do. Let's find Shut those up. Angara or whatever. Their oral fixations. <laughs> Dr. Daddy! Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry. Ooh, I don't want to know how he died. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yeah, that's 
Still, Good. we lost the Pathfinder on my watch. Doesn't sit right. My dad knew the danger. Part of the job. Now I just need to make sure your brother here pulls through. How's Scott doing? His condition stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so he's dreaming. Means all the wiring still works. How did this happen? Well, he doesn't have morning blood. It was dumb luck, really. We hit the they really should take his shoes moment. off, though. He's gonna get the pressure all the time. was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment coming out of a 600-year nap. Then wham! Circuits fried I mean, and overloaded the Maybe he's pathways. just resting. Don't worry, I'm on it. <laughs> he is but resting, but rider. man, like all those bony prominences, not good. They gotta protect them. So he's probably having some really funky dreams right uh -huh. now. Now here's the sad part. Are you staying here in the Hyperion? No, yeah, Doctor Daddy. You just getting too old. Uh. Ha! <laughs> right. Look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat Seven. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. You don't act like you don't have shields. Sounds to me like he wants to settle down, maybe start a family. <laughs> we'll miss you, Harry. End game content. <laughs> I would play Sim's house with him. Maybe you just live vicariously Deal. through me. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Scott, I'll let you know. My brain coming along. Have you ever drank a luau out of a shoe? Ryder. Hayes, how's the wound? Doc says I'll live. So this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. That's a good outlook. With no need to exaggerate. That was a tough fight on Habitat play Hayes. 7. <laughs> Just glad expanded to be on the other content side of it. lol <laughs> all right not belaboring oh wait there no don't want to talk to greer about kirkland dying so uh, no thank you exit stage left pursued by a bear that is shakespeare <laughs> I mean, do any of us really know? <laughs> Are the fires of hell a glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Yes! The danger must be growing for the rowers keep on rowing! Loading? Well, it's yeah, it's basically the save game system so far as jump on a tram. <laughs> What happened? I'm supposed to speak to Sam back where I was. Oh, damn. Bonk. Sam, tell me about this gameplay mechanic. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sam Node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. 
providing an enhancement. Yeah, I don't much <laughs> like it is either. Too bad nobody asked us first. first. What do you get out of it? <laughs> Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative Didn't they make a movie, does. like an Australian film called, like, follow. Upgrade Very or something similar, yeah. like that? No. What's different? Actually, yeah, that was, mm, I think, last year or something? I think this came out first. But you're just a computer! That's pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So, what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a path Your dad, dad loved side quests removed. and leveling Perhaps up. you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. So yeah, this is our profile system. In each profile you unlock by putting points in different skill trees will give these side benefits like you see at the bottom here. We're basically going pure adept, so I highly doubt we're going to play around much with the other things, but... We Maybe later on points. after we max yeah. out some trees. Yeah, I think it might happen. I just, you know... Not wanting to complicate things this early in the gameplay. Uh-huh, and adept is all about just like biotic combos, which is what Pretty we're sweet. going for anyway. So, yeah. um, speaking of which, we have skills to assign to everyone, in fact. Um, so let's just get this out of the way. You were talking about, um, about I mean, shockwave. shockwave to me is always really great for crowd control. Yeah, it can detonate a primer. We have singularity as a primer. Um, I might play around with pull at some point. because it's always fun. This one, yeah, it says if you hold it, you can drag the enemy. So it might be hysterical to drop a singularity, then use pull to deposit someone into it, and then detonate it with shockwave, blah, blah, blah. But I enjoy, I enjoy the imagery. Yeah, I'm going to save pull until our next level, because I want to test it out in the field, and then maybe load the game if it doesn't do what I want it to. That's good. American woman. Stay away from me. Where'd that come from? It looks like Lenny Kravitz. Oh, and Donald Glover. And Donald Glover. If Donald Glover and Lenny Kravitz had an illegitimate love child, it would be Liam. Hey, it's the future. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early alliance Let's service. Jump on the bed. I bet that's not plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the first and contact. Here war. it comes. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. Picking up that glow. What triggered thing. it? I told you your father was a pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Sam node on the Hyperion to okay, investigate further. Here. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence <laughs> to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. I thought she was going to say humanity, and I was going right. to say accurate. <laughs> I'm not human till I've had my coffee. <laughs> Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay. I'll talk about my so implants. New every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial well, intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. 
Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. She's a Goyle and he's a boy. Solarians, he's a Goyle. centuries ahead of us. <laughs> hey. But it's illegal. Spooky shadow guy. <laughs> Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's no Synergy to option. revolt against. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. Well, I'm assuming they're from the council. <sighs> Alec? Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Mm -hmm. Wow, hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. <laughs> it was just a tool. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, dad moved us back to Earth to care for mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. I wanted to stick around and ask him more questions, but we're actually kind of reaching the end of this episode. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. So if we looked at this earlier, Ellen's disease would have said encrypted log number one, I think. I can't read this one because of the uh, Twitch overlay. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. She shacked up with a song. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. So your theory is that while Alec was out doing his thing, their mother was having a uh, affair with an Asari? Yeah, I don't remember. Um, you know, I, I kind of read her background a bit on a wiki. I don't remember what her job was. She was researching something heavy in Ezo, and yeah, I think there was an Asari who played the role of father to get those sweet X chromosomes. Um, so basically, Easy was kind of like what Miranda was to Miranda's dad. Very interesting. I like your head cannon. Yeah, so that's, that's why. Um, you know, and, and she was born around the same time as Scott Ryder, but that's why Dad was kind of, uh, you know, treats them different, is a little bit more distant from from Easy because she reminds reminds him of what happened with Ellen. And we gotta get you to start writing fan fiction, bro. <laughs> I would love to have the free time. So let's meet our ship. Cora had a lot of faith that door was going to open. <laughs> Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. 
Actually, I wonder if there's any info on if Asari, like, do the mating dance with a lady who's already with a child. Oh. You're starting to get into some, like, fetish territory here, buddy. I know, I don't want to <laughs> think that much about it. I, I'm reminded of, um, Dune when, when she drank the spice stuff while she had the, the little girl. Yes. In utero. Let's go take a closer and look. The girl came out like a Bene Gesserit. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're Hello, romance interest. Late. Or the so obligatory. The oh, hi, Mark. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no Wizard way Han Solo. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Wow, look at that swish. Mm hmm Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> I like her. He's got two weak glute meads. That sweet ass Trendelenburg. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. <laughs> I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Senior you around. You're ben, the right? most generic person on this station. <laughs> Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Okay, so I can't see either response because of the Twitch overlay, but we generally run cash, which is code for sarcastic. Thank goodness. For a second, yeah. I thought I was going to have to deal with Addison again. <laughs> and no one wants that. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. I do have a thing for Turians, though, to be fair. Finally, someone who cares They're about so doing stuff and not just talking about I it. I like her, um... She's like, hey, buddy, like... Yeah, she's super poised, though. Like, she's super classy, but, like, confident, but also personable. She kind of reminds me of like how we're playing Ryder given the options. Yes. I don't know, does Vera like girl people? <laughs> Vetra? Yeah, she, she likes all people. What did I call her? Vera. Which is also good. <laughs> well if she ever wanted to be Vera, now's her chance. <laughs> Vera is just Vetra without the T. <laughs> and the T is for Tarian, so <laughs> It's very veritarian. <laughs> Everything state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. Doctor Daddy. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. Space Dorian. Ooh. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic. Everybody needs a Dorian shopping. because Dorian is the perfect man. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading no equipment, offense, and gathering so. intel. <laughs> well, oh, I get it. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. Who's and that? Ryder, of course. All nice run accent. by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty yeah, of space redheads with an accent are also my kryptonite. <laughs> it's all yours. I think they're everybody's kryptonite, though, if I'm fair. Yeah. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? That's a cool shot. I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. I just like that her face paint good to matches go. your hair. <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to be. Let's no. get it on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm this on is... on a boat! <laughs> Everybody look at me. 
Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. Get the crew together, you say. Anyway, I think we'll get to uh, explore all our toys and boys and all that in the next episode. I'm Soul Hiatus. And I'm Espresso Steampunk. And remember, in space, no one can hear you cream. Uh...